So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to the Epic Games Launcher, and then you want to click on Library, and then you want to find your game. You want to click on the three dots, and then click on Manage, and then click on Verify. Now for the second step, you want to head over to Search again, and type in Run. Click on it, then you want to type in Temp, and click on Enter. Now once you're on this, you want to delete all these temporary files. Click on Control A on your keyboard, and then click on Delete. And then click on Cancel. Most of the temporary files are going to be deleted. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in percent local app data percentage sign and click on enter. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down and then click on Fortnite game, click on saved, config, windows client. You want to right click on games your settings, click on properties, and then you want to untick read only and click on OK. Make sure that it's been unticked. For the next step, you want to head over to search and type in display settings, click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down, make sure that your display resolution has been set to recommended and also your skill. Make sure that they're both on recommended. Now once you do that, you want to click on Windows Update. Make sure that your operating system is fully up to date. Now for the last step, you want to head over to your graphics card driver software. So for me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card and I'm using GeForce Experience. If you have an MD graphics card, you want to download the software for that. Then you want to click on Drivers and then click on Check for Updates. Make sure that your graphics card drivers have been fully up to date. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.